When working with data, you will more often than not spend time in preparing and shaping your data. This video will introduce you to Prediction Insight Workbench, where you can quickly and easily prepare and explore your data. Insight Workbench helps you normalize data, relabel categories, discretize data, and remove outliers. You can also create calculated columns using the Prediction Analytical Expression Language, or PACS. You can ingest data into the workbench from any of the data formats that Prediction supports. In this video, we will use an Excel table containing data from the UCI Machine Learning Repository. The data concerns city cycle fuel consumption in miles per gallon to be predicted in terms of three multi-valued discrete and five continuous attributes. The workbench displays data in different ways. Today we will use the tabular spreadsheet format used by Excel. You can also get the list of attributes as well as hide columns as needed. Column data is either left aligned or right aligned, depending on its data type, just like Excel or Power Pivot. Numeric data is usually right aligned data. When the numbers are left aligned, the data is interpreted as text. For example, look at the MPG column in the table. The numbers are left aligned, which tells you that the data is interpreted as text. In fact, some of the values in the column, such as NA, are not numeric, and therefore the entire column is treated as text in Prediction Insight. If you want to work with numbers in this column as numeric data, you must eliminate non-numeric values and convert all values to numbers. List view makes it easier to view a summary of all the columns of data. You can see all the data columns at a glance, along with some of the column information such as data type or the PAX expression used to define the column. As you click on individual columns, the workbench displays a graph that changes depending on the data type. For columns of numbers, the default view is a histogram showing the distribution of values, like this one. Beneath the histogram is a table containing some basic statistics about the distribution of values, including the minimum and maximum values, mean, and so forth. The correlations chart shows how the selected column is correlated with other numeric columns in this data set. The horizontal bars represent the strength of the correlation between this feature and other numeric features. Positive correlations are color-coded blue. Negative correlations are color-coded as red. Any column that does not contain purely numeric data is treated as categorical values. For example, the column car name. When you click this column in the Insight Workbench, the default graph shows a column profile that includes a list of the most common values and the percentage of each value in the total data set. Only the most prevalent nine category values are shown, with all other values grouped under Other. Once you've reviewed your data and explored the distribution in Insight Workbench, you might want to cleanse data or modify the data to improve the model that you will build using the data. If your data includes some categories that are rare, you might want to remove them before modeling. You can do this easily by selecting the data and clicking Remove Outliers. For example, in this data set, when you select the Cylinders column, Insight Workbench shows you that the first three states constitute more than 98% of the cases. And although the values in the Cylinder column are numeric, they really aren't used for computation, but are more like a category. The values for 3 and 5 cylinders are very rare, and it is easy to remove these values from the category column. To remove categorical columns, you select the cylinders column and click Remove Outlier. A new column, named Cylinders, is added to the right of the selected column. Notice that the original Cylinders column has been renamed to Cylinders Original. In Keep Top End States, set the number of states to 3. This will eliminate all rows with the two lowest values, 3 and 5 cylinders. 
You can also remove extreme values from numeric columns. If you click on the weight column, you can see that some cars have weights in excess of 5,000 pounds. To remove extreme values from weight, click anywhere in the column and click Remove Outlier. A new column named Weight is added to the right of the selected column and the original weight column is named Weight Original. Click the slider in the right hand pane and drag the slider to the left until the two charts, the histogram and the column profile, indicate that the maximum value is 5000. When you do so, all values above 5000 can be replaced by a value of your choice, either 5000, the mean value for the column, or a null or missing value. Sometimes your data might contain abbreviations or labels that are difficult to understand. Using Insight Workbench, you can easily substitute these values with more meaningful ones. For instance, you might want to relabel the numerical codes used to indicate the car's origins with their geographical locations. To relabel origin, select the column. Note that the values for origin are all numbers considered as text. Click Relabel. A new column named Origin appears to the right of the selected column, and the original column is renamed Origin Original. For new labels, type USA next to 1 in Original Label column. Type Europe next to the original label of 2, and type Japan next to the original label of 3. Sometimes you need to group numeric values. For that, you can use the bin feature. Discretizing or binning numbers takes a series of continuous values and assigns them to individual values or to a named range of values. Let's do that with the column Model Year. First, you select the Model Year column in the column profile. You can see that the years are considered numeric and that each year is listed individually from 1970 to 1982. Click Bin. A new column named Discretize Model Year is added to the right of the selected column. Finally, choose the method Equal Areas and set the number of bins to 3. In this example, model years have been binned in groups such as less than 74, instead of numbers such as 71, 72, and 73. The column contains a text category to which all the original numbers are assigned. You do not lose your numeric data since the original column is preserved, but you can choose to use the categorical column instead when modeling. Columns that you would expect to contain only numbers can sometimes contain cells with text or blanks, making it impossible to work with data as numeric. For instance, the column horsepower includes some missing values which were entered as NA. When you know what the value should be, you can use a PAX expression to replace the text values in a numeric column with blanks, which are okay in numeric columns, or with proper values. Let's do it for horsepower. Click Add Expression and in the Expression text box, type the value equals value horsepower. In the right hand pane, we rename the column from calculated column to horsepower value and then save the column. Some columns of data are not suitable for modeling. Examples of unsuitable columns might be columns that duplicate other columns, such as the original columns for horsepower and model year. After you've updated your data set with cleaned or improved data, you can hide the original columns to avoid using them in a model. Unless you specifically request to use hidden columns, Prediction will not use such columns for modeling. You can see all columns in a list, including column metadata. For that, click the View tab and then click List. To hide columns, you right-click the column, for example, MPG, and click Hide Column. Notice how the column gets grayed out. You can follow a similar procedure with the column's car name, horsepower, and model year. Finally, now that you've cleaned up your data in preparation for modeling, you need to create a package and make the data available as input data when you create models. For that, in the package group, click Save As. The Create Package Wizard opens. 
In package name, type estimate mpg value, click finish, and close Insight Workbench. Next, we will cover running your first analysis. Thank you for listening.